In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve right triangles, but we have a, a special case. We have two triangles in a larger triangle, and our goal is to calculate the value of H. So we know that this portion is 500. And given the two angles, 30 and 60 degrees, what is the value of H? of this larger right triangle. Feel free to pause the video and try this problem. So what's the first thing that you think we need to do here? What would you do? Me personally, I like to label things. So this side here, adjacent to the 60 degree angle, I'm going to call X. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the small right triangle with uh, this 90 degree angle where the interior angle is 60. This is H and the adjacent side is X. And what I want to do is I want to write an equation that contains the variable H. Perhaps you recall this expression, Sokotoa, and it helps us to remember the three trigonometric ratios. S is for sine, C is for cosine, T is for tangent. I'm going to focus on tangent. Tangent of the angle, that is tangent of 60 degrees, is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So opposite to 60 is H, and the adjacent side that is close to 60 is X. The hypotenuse is always across the right angle. That's the the longest side of the right triangle. So we could say that tangent of 60 degrees is equal to the opposite side, h, over x. Now you might be wondering, what is tangent of 60? Well, you can plug that into your calculator. If you do, make sure it's in degree mode. But if you don't know it, you may need to review the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Across the 30 is 1, across the hypotenuse is 2, across the 60 is root 3. So tangent of 60 degrees, using the Toa part of Sokotoa, is equal to the opposite side, which is the square root of 3, divided by the adjacent side, which is 1. So it's equal to root 3 over 1, or just root 3. So we can replace tangent 60 with that. And that's equal to h divided by x. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to isolate the variable h. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x. So we can say that h is equal to the square root of 3 times x. And we're going to save this equation for later. Now we have two variables, h and x. In order to calculate h, we need another equation. In order to solve for two variables, you need at least two equations to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the larger right triangle. That is this triangle. Let me use a different color. This triangle in blue. We're going to focus on that one. So this is still h. The angle is now 30. The adjacent side is the sum of those two values. It's x plus 500. So once again, we're going to use tangent. So we could say that tangent of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite side. Opposite to 30 is still h divided by the adjacent side, which is now x plus 500. Now, what is tangent of 30? I should have kept that other triangle. But let's draw it again. Our 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is 1, root 3, and this is 2. Tan 30, that's equal to the opposite side, divided by the adjacent. So tan 30 is 1 over root 3. Now, we can rationalize this. We can multiply the top and bottom by root 3. 
the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9, which is 3. So tan 30 is root 3 over 3. Now I need some space to work. So this is what we have at this point. And that's equal to h over x plus 500. Now what I'm going to do is, to get rid of the fractions, I'm going to multiply both sides by a 3 and by x plus 500. Actually, just x plus 500 for now. I'll introduce the 3 later. Let's get h by itself. So we're going to have h is equal to the square root of 3 over 3 times x plus 500. So now, the next thing we need to do is set h equal to h. which means that we could set these two equal to each other since they're both equal to h. So we have the square root of 3 over 3 times x plus 500, and that's equal to the square root of 3 times x. Now at this point, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 so that these could cancel. And so I have the square root of 3 times x plus 500, and that's equal to 3 root 3 times x. Now I also want to get rid of the square root 3 symbol. It will be something less to deal with. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the square root of 3. So as we said before, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 9, which is 3. So now we have 3 times x plus 500. And this is equal to 3, and then replacing the two root 3s with what they equal, which is another 3, we have this. Now I need to clear away some space here, so let's get rid of a few things. So on the left side, I have 3 times x plus 500. On the right side, it's 3 times 3x, which is 9x. Now at this point, we need to distribute the 3 to x plus 500. So it's going to be 3 times x, which will give us 3x, and then 3 times 500. Now 3 times 5 is 15. Add in the two zeros, that gives us 1500. So 3 times 500 is 1500. And now to get x by itself, we need to subtract both sides by 3x. And so we get 1,500 is equal to 9x minus 3x. 9 minus 3 is 6. Now, to separate the 6 from the x, since they're multiplied, we need to perform the opposite operation. We need to divide. So dividing both sides by 6 will help us to get our answer. So 1,500 divided by 6. Let's use a calculator for that. This is equal to 250. So we know what x is. x is equal to 250. So now that we have the value of x, what can we do to calculate the value of h? All we need to do is plug in x, or the value of x, into one of those two formulas. The first one is a lot easier than the second, so we're going to go with that one. So we have h is equal to the square root of 3 times 250. And that is our answer, but it's best to write it this way. h is equal to 250 times the square root of 3. Now let's get a decimal value for that. So h is approximately 433.01, but we could round it to the nearest whole number. 
So this is our final answer. But the exact answer is 250 times the square root of 3. So now you know how to solve a right triangle problem with two triangles inside of the larger triangle.